Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, Link Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wang. I'm doing Scorpio Tarot reading for August, tuning into the energies of August, seeing what divine messages of guidance come through. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this resonates, you might want to check your other placements and see if those readings are helpful as well. All right, Scorpio, the overall energy of the month of August is the Seven of Pentacles. Looks like there's something that you're focusing on and growing. Something you're focusing your attention on. It feels like around work, around business, your finances. Wow. Whatever this is, this job, whatever you're focusing on growing, on building, it feels like it's a calling. Something uh, that you're very, it feels like the, the calls coming within you to create something externally. So, all right. All right, here we go. Some challenges, Scorpio. And with the death and rebirth card, you're showing up in the energy of the overall energy, Scorpio. You're When you're showing up as yourself in the overall energy, that's fantastic feels like you are oh it looks like you've transformed uh some communication or in the month of august you are transforming an inability to communicate an inability to ask for what you need what you want something about some type of limiting communication it also feels like you're, you're getting out of a negative mindset in the month of August and really stepping into your heart space. And it's like you're creating from that heart space. Whatever you're creating, it feels very you. It feels like you're very called to this. And, wow. And it feels like there are lots of people showing up to celebrate you in whatever you're creating wow fantastic what's the okay it looks like you might be letting go of um something you thought was potential but you're realizing this isn't a potential. So you're recognize. it feels like at the beginning of August, you're, there might be a couple things on your plate that you are focusing, giving your attention to, but it feels like you're letting, you're streamlining. You're getting clear on what's working and who's working and who's not working. And I think there's someone at the beginning of the month that you're thinking, well, maybe this is an opportunity. But I think the more you, you look at that, that person, that opportunity, you realize this, is, this, isn't, this isn't a good fit for what I want. There's a lack of leadership here. It's not the it's not something I want to invest in it's not someone I want to move forward with wow all right Scorpio moving forward to hidden blessings in the month of August the ten of cups in reverse it feels like there's an unhappiness and the unhappiness the lack of fulfillment the lack of joy the, is happening for you. There's someone in your environment who it feels like they 
they're promising a lot romantically, but they can't deliver on this. Feels like someone who's trying to manipulate you into a situation that's not for you. I think you're seeing this. I think you're recognizing because at the very beginning, you're very focused. You do recognize what's for you, who's for you. And it, it feels like in this energy of enacting from your heart space, focusing on what's working, I, I think you're, you recognize what grows with your time, attention, labor, and what doesn't work, what is not growing, and it's like you're trimming. It feels like you're you're streamlining, you're trimming things that don't work, you're getting, it feels like um, you're being very smart about things, like really um, wise, wise decisions. It looks like you speaking your truth is very helpful. There's a lot of abundance coming in. It does seem like there are people coming from your past that um, it feels like maybe people in your past that you recognized that they weren't for you that it was a hopeless situation and you might have cut them out. It feels like people coming back in, um, trying to ride your coattails because obviously something that you're focusing on is really growing. But it's really growing because you, it feels like you've streamlined and you've you've let go of whatever is causing resistance, whatever is is pulling you back keeping you down and um that's hidden blessing is recognize it feels like the more you let go of what's not serving you just getting realistic and learning how to focus your energy on what does grow with your energy your care and focusing on that is making all the difference and it does seem that there are people from your past that want to come in now <clears throat> now that you're succeeding even though they were not a part of getting you to this success so it it feels like um i don't trust these energies from the past so Scorpio, what you're leaving behind is the Fool card in reverse. It looks like you're leaving behind um, moving on, moving forward, taking leaps of, of not taking leaps of faith, of being too afraid to get out of a stuck pattern. It feels like you might have been stuck a lot in your past in a karmic lesson, um, learning about betrayal. And now it feels like you've got this energy of truth and justice and victory on your side. And so um, it's like the more truth that comes in, and the more victories, the more it feels like it's easier to let go of what's taking up too much of your bandwidth, too much of your energy. You're leaving behind feeling uncared for, unblessed. You're ending cycles uh, where you have had to do all the heavy lifting. So again, there's this, excuse me, Scorpio. Um, there's this energy of streamlining, letting go of what doesn't serve you. It, it feels like you're kind of being somewhat analytical and and just getting head over heart what works what doesn't who's for me who's not not getting emotional or taking it like personally but just just taking the facts analyzing them and making decisions from that vantage point all right, how to get the most of the month of August 
Yeah, a Ten of Swords in reverse. The, the worst is over with this card. It feels like there has been a past betrayal or painful communication, but it feels like you're just not engaging. I think whatever this Ten of Swords is, betrayal, painful communication, you learned who that person is, you, you understand now clearly what's going on. So there's no need to communicate with this person anymore. They've shown you Ten of Swords. Um, yeah, it, it feels like, it feels like um, this led to this painful communication. It even could have been withholding of communication. Someone who ghosted you, who wouldn't communicate and just left, abandoned, like an abandoned energy here. This could be a, a breakup where there, there's just no communication and then it's just over. Something like that. This feels like realizing that's who they are. Let's not fix it. Let's not justify. Let's not what happened. They just showed me that they're capable and they feel very comfortable with Ten of Swords and Five of Pentacles. And if oh yeah and now they're coming back they with an apology like oh oh crap scorpio i didn't realize that you're going to be this successful i wouldn't have cut you off and abandoned you if i knew that you were capable of this type of growth and i think you're it doesn't even feel like you're giving this energy that much time. Like this, in this reading, is giving it more time than what you're in consideration than what you are in reality. It feels like you, uh, you're like, I see who you are now. I see how comfortable you feel with treating me in this way. I think there's this uh, decision like betray. You can't come back from betrayal. There are other energies other deceptions that you're like okay that was a mistake that was, whereas betrayal is a bridge too far if you feel comfortable with betraying me uh once then i've learned my lesson i don't that's that's all that needs to be said and it feels like again you're focusing on what works what you want to grow and it does not look like you want that to grow. This bit, uh, deceptive, abandoning type of energy. All right, Scorpio, what's supporting you in the month of August is the Eight of Wands in reverse. Lack of communication, a lack of movement. Interesting. It looks like... Oh, there's a lot left unsaid. There's a lot left uncommunicated. And it feels like... <clears throat> it feels like there's a lot of confusion around person, maybe people, and trying to understand what happened. It feels like you are leaving a situation person people without fully understanding what happened just realizing i i know enough to know that this isn't for me and that's all i need to know i'm moving on from this energy even though i i'm not quite clear about what happened what took place It feels like you might have been dealing with someone very inconsistent, very in and out, a player. And it feels like you got enough truth that you could make a decision to move on from it. 
You might not know the whole story. It feels like somewhere down the line, you will um, see the full picture, but you've got enough of the picture to of what's going on within this connection relationship to realize this is not for you, that this is injustice. This is not what I want to be involved in. feels like you have to give up a lot of who you are to be in this relationship. And so, yeah. All right, Scorpio, what to be mindful of in August is the Four of Cups in reverse. Ooh, what, be mindful of someone trying to hoover you back, trying to get you interested in a cup that, yeah, oh, someone, yeah, someone's trying to pull you back in because now you're doing, they perceive you doing really well and they weren't there to be a part of building you up and helping you create this, but they want to benefit from your uh what you've created <clears throat> i think you're very aware of this energy and it feels like you might be cutting communication and moving on from this energy it feels like this person and how they're acting maybe they're like syrupy sweet and trying to like manipulate your emotions something like that I think you 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 see them very clearly and you're ready to move on there's a lot of I'm moving on I'm moving on I'm moving on I am reaping the benefits of moving on and and it feels like you're watching uh it feels like in this past connection this person who sh keep, keep showing up and holding on it feels like um, once you let go and st things started growing and because they were the weed that was absorbing all the nutrients around you and so you couldn't really grow things properly but now that the they've been pulled out of your environment they've been weeded out of your environment you've streamlined you've weeded now you've got the nutrients now what you are building and focusing on is growing the proofs in the pudding way to go scorpio fantastic have a great august